going on guys? I'm on sub 223 and today I'm going to show you how to install your CADEX Turtle V2 camera. This video will not help everybody but hopefully it will help some people out there as there is not much support I found for the uh, the Turtle V2 as for in terms of setting it up so I'm going to show you guys how I did it and how I got it to work and let you know about the problems I ran into when setting it up certain ways. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, now here's my new Cadex Turtle V2 camera. Uh, four and a half to 20 volts turbo eye lens, which is really cool. Um, I've opened mine, so when you get yours, it will be a little bit neater than this. But these are pretty much the contents of the package. You have a small... Uh, SD card cover. You have a mounting bracket, which is actually really, really nice. It lets you mount this up to a lot of different frames, a lot of different ways you can mount it. Up. Then you have the camera and you have the board. Turtle V2. This does have a, a, a wiring harness on it but I actually took out some of the wires that I didn't need. Um, now I actually have to put one back in. <laughs> but anyway, the, uh, the pads are labeled as OSD, which is actually a menu pad when you look up the, uh, the pinout for this, this component. Then you have the uh, CVPS signal, you have the ground, and then you have the VCC. So what I need to do is I need to hook up the video wire back up to here and I'm going to run it back out to my, uh, to my transmitter as you guys can tell this is going to my blade torrent. So I'm just going to run it right out to my, uh, my transmitter and I've already went ahead and spliced in part of a video wire into that connection so I could just go ahead and plug that right into there. But now for the voltage, the Blade Torrent 110 is not the, the greatest, so this is going to be a real mix-up of a video, so it's going to be a little bit of a review with installation and setup. But with this board, I can't really trust any of these pads. Um, I, don't, I don't see myself... Uh, getting clean power out of any of these enough power to run the CADEX camera so I actually just have two two uh, battery leads positive and a negative connecting right to my battery pads so these two are going to connect to the VCC and the ground on the CADEX camera and hopefully everything will work good from there Let's go ahead and get started. Tips all junk. So that's all set up. Now, now I gotta go ahead and I gotta put this wire back together. And just like so, I'll just Okay, now that I got my video wire soldered back together, I'm going to go ahead and stick it back inside the wiring harness. <clears throat> now, if I recall correctly, the last pin over here is actually the uh, a power coming in. It's actually right near the ground. 
So hopefully I'm correct in saying that the yellow should be in this second pin slot right here. Because when I pulled it out, I actually forgot to take a look. And then I couldn't remember by the time I had to go put it back in. So I went ahead and just put that back in. That actually looks pretty good too. So we'll go ahead and pop that in. So now I can go ahead and plug in the other end of this yellow cable into my BTX right here. Just like so. Yeah, I'm lazy. I didn't want to screw it out there. Just takes an extra second or two. But that's all set now. That's all good. So now we should be all set to get the power running. to the VTX from the flight controller. All right, so we have our Transmitter on. We have our uh, our monitor on right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and see. Make sure your props are off, as always. I'm gonna go ahead and see if the uh, if the camera powers up and if it gives us any problems. Just like that. Hmm. Oh, it actually seems as though the uh, the voltage is reading pretty good. Let me uh, let me actually compare that right now with the voltage readout from my remote. Kind of just interested to see. Oh, look at that, 11.6, 11.5. 11 so, yeah. I would definitely say that, uh, that seemed to have worked. So, now, with that being said, we can go ahead and plug in the menu board. Alright, so we've got the turtle cam all hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. <clears throat> now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna point it roughly at a magazine right over here. That way, I can get a good dynamic range while I'm inside the house. Let's go ahead and power it up. I'm just gonna move it a little bit closer. And we'll go ahead and check out the menu. This way you input your name.
get it to read the time, the voltage, save and exit. You've got video, do you want to record in 1080p, 30 frames, 60 frames, or you can go down to 720p, which you can pretty much see a good difference. Loop video, auto recording, on. Uh, wide dynamic on, save and exit. Camera, I have my uh, my exposure at negative three. Metering mode is multi. Field of view high. Uh, I might I might play with that afterwards. We'll see. We'll see. I don't really get what the difference of that is. But okay. Image effect. Here we go. Starting to look a little too grainy. guys that's all set up as you can see we're still sitting at 11 volts that's just the uh, the blade torrent letting me know that it's been sitting around for too long so without any further into this let's go ahead and get this back together and check out some play footage